Hi, and welcome to 5 Minutes Statistics for Clinical Research. My name is Caroline Herborn, and I am part of the Biostatistics team at GCP Service International. The most important thing in clinical trial is to define the objective of the study. Once the objective has been defined, it has to be evaluated how best to measure the outcome. This is when biostatisticians start talking about parameters and variables. In today's video, we will explain what these are and how to differentiate them. What do statisticians mean when they talk about parameters or variables? In the frame of a clinical study, a variable is something that can be measured, like the blood pressure for example. Let's assume as the main objective of our study we are interested if the investigational product is decreasing the blood pressure over time. What we can do to answer our question easily is to measure the blood pressure once in the beginning of the trial and then again after the patient used the product, let's say after 3 months. We can compare these values or variables directly. So variables in general are quantities which vary between distinct individuals, in this case patients. Other examples for variables are for example the size, weight or vision of a person. Sometimes it is not possible or too costly to obtain the variable of interest directly. This is when so-called surrogate variables come into play. These are variables that are directly connected to the aspect of interest but can be accessed easier, faster or cheaper. Therefore, they are used to measure the actual variable of interest indirectly. For example, the endpoint of a trial investigating a medication to treat cancer could be the reoccurrence of cancer after one year of therapy. Identifying cancerous cells in the entire body is not possible. However, a minimally invasive method that is not a huge burden to the patients would be the analysis of biomarkers in the blood. Biomarkers can therefore be used as surrogate variable for our actual endpoint which is the presence of cancerous cells in the patient. In clinical trials, surrogate variables have to fulfill certain criteria before they can be used as such. There should be a scientific reason behind assuming that there is a connection between the surrogate and the actual variable of interest. Secondly, there should be studies of prognostic value of the surrogate in the general population. And third, there should be prior clinical trials that have investigated the direct outcome as well as the surrogate. Having only a correlation is not sufficient to serve as a surrogate variable. Now that we know what a variable is, how does it differ from a parameter? Parameters are what biostatisticians use for the statistical analysis. They do not relate to actual measurements, but to quantities defining a theoretical model. Let's go back to our example with the blood pressure. We want to compare the change in blood pressure from the beginning to the end of our trial, but this time we have two treatments that we want to compare. So what we have to do is to calculate the difference or change between time point 1 at the beginning of the trial and 2 at the end of the trial for each treatment. We can then compare these two values and see which treatment performed better. The difference between the time points that we use for the analysis is referred to as parameter. They cannot be measured directly and are computed from measured variables. So that is it for today. As you can see, variables and parameters can be distinguished easily. If there are any additional questions, our team of statisticians is happy to help you out. Leave us a message at statistics at gcp-service.com or leave a comment below. If you are significantly satisfied with the content, make sure to subscribe to not miss the next video.